Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be heading off on a multi-day hike. So I've just had my breakfast and I come into the bell tent. I'm just going to pack the last little bits of my gear into my rucksack. So yeah, I slept here last night so I've just got all my sleep system that I need to put in my bag and other bits and bobs. And then um, I'm going to get ready to set off. It is raining. It's supposed to be really bad weather um, the whole period I'm away. So I think it's thunder and lightning <laughs> and rain, which is going to be a bit challenging, but I guess it makes it in some way. It's uh, quite rewarding when you get into your tent and you uh, get into some dry clothes. But it is what it is. It's going to be a nice walk. It's quite refreshing when it's raining anyway. It's been a heat wave for the past week, so it's been full on heat. It got into the 30s, the high 30s, so it's been extremely hot. So it'd be nice just to, it's nice having it a bit cooler, you can sleep at night. So I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I'm just going to pack the last bits in my bag and then get ready. Pack looks quite big, but that is because I'm trying a new technique of a different roll mat. So I've got one of those foam roll mats that you can buy. I usually take um, the Thermarest inflatable one, which always goes inside my backpack. But I thought I'd mix it up a bit. The foam one's a little bit lighter and you can put it straight on the ground. It doesn't seem to soak up moisture as much. And seeing as it's quite wet and it's damp, that would be a really good option. My pack also is carrying excess weight as I've got to carry a lot of my own water as there isn't many water sources along the way only filling up taps like tap points there isn't any water sources like any streams or anything and I'm also carrying my food for my duration as well so like rice porridge and some other bits and bobs as that's what I'm mainly depending on I'm not gonna be stopping at any shops. I'm on the trail now, really excited. The rain isn't here yet, but it is quite damp. It's gonna be good. I haven't got any set destination. I'm just gonna hike and see where I get to today. Um, depending on the weather, it's meant to be really bad weather today. And then just see where I'd like to set up and pitch my tent tonight. I think it's better, it's more about the journey, not the actual destination, because I'll be rushing to get to somewhere where I won't be taking him the actual hike, getting to wherever I want to camp. been hiking now for like two hours. I've just stopped off for a little loo break and um, I'm also going to put my camera inside my bag as it is getting heavier the rain. It's managed to stay dry for the two hours I've been walking, it's been really nice. Uh, just little occasional drizzle but it's getting heavier now so I'm just going to put all my camera gear in my bag. More weight on the back. <laughs> Yay. And um, yeah, carry on walking. So I do know that in a probably an hour's time or something, there's a fill up stop for my water. So I'm just drinking as much as I can now, which probably means 
I need the toilet more. That's probably why that is. Um, So I've just cooked some rice and salami, chopped up some long life salami in there, give it some flavour. So it's just started getting quite cold and cooked up my dinner so that should warm me up a little bit. It does look like it's going to rain again so I'm just preparing now for it to just hammer it down. It's really misted over. So, there's not much of a view here, just looking at whiteness. It's nice to have some warm food though, just as it's getting cold. And then I'm going to have this and think about setting up. But it's been a really nice walk, really, really nice. I had a look and I have hiked eight and a half miles today which is alright, it's not too bad, not too shabby. Um, I haven't done like hiking for quite a while so I'm pretty happy with that distance. Just packed everything up, I'm gonna head on down and find somewhere to stay the night. So yeah, just find somewhere quite sheltered, quite out the way. Um, but also quite sheltered from the rain. It's supposed to be really heavy rain and thunderstorms tonight, so I need to find somewhere sheltered. Also, I don't want any widow makers, any dead fall above me, as that will end badly. So I'm pretty knackered. I think I'll probably get up quite early and hike and get some get some miles in tomorrow. I want to get more mileage in than I did today. Uh, so I'm going to see how that goes. I roughly just got over eight and a half miles. So I want to gain some more tomorrow. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be a good day. Morning guys, I've just woken up. The time is 7am, so I'm going to think about having breakfast and then packing up. Slept really well last night. I think it rained because I've woke up and yeah, there's loads of um, rain dripping out the trees. And my tent festival door is really wet. The roll mat was, wasn't too bad actually, it was quite comfortable. And I like the fact that it's not wet and damp underneath. So because I don't have a season two or three sleeping bag, I have to use this bag, but I use it as like a quilt so it just goes over the top of me and I barely use it so I might have to invest in a more summer sleeping bag really, which would be lighter. So this is the Rub Ascent 900 and it is four sleeping bags, it's ducked down so it's really hot. Especially the summer.
just finished my porridge for this morning's breakfast. I think with hiking, one of the most important things is hygiene and cleaning all your pots and pans, keeping everything pretty clean, especially if you're doing multi days, because that will really ruin your trip and your experience if you're you got food poisoning, you've got diarrhea and you've got to keep going to the toilet all the time and then you get dehydrated. So it's just an ongoing process. So if you just start off and be hygienic, it's not gonna fault you in the end. Um, some people don't brush their teeth while they're away and they could be going for two weeks. If you do that, you do have the chance of getting a, an ulcer or toothache and that's the worst, that could just ruin your trip and you just want to go home so that tiny bit of weight carrying a toothbrush a lot of people saw them in half and a little tube of toothpaste even with no toothpaste just that actual brushing can benefit you in the long run uh, shorter trips it probably doesn't matter as much but I'd say probably longer than a week it would anyway on that topic I just want to use this is one of the few times I've used these I've tried to save them up but I was kindly given these to, from a subscriber Roger Meeks thank you so much uh, you sent me these and I wasn't too sure what they were so I used one and I was pretty blown away by it so lightweight obviously really compact and I'm going to show you what they do now but thank you so much for these Roger You don't wash out your pots and then you've just got build up of porridge on top of porridge and rice and whatever you just it's not gonna go down well and it's also gonna burn the bottom of your pot so all your food's gonna just taste like burnt whatever you had yesterday With my water situation yesterday, I left camp with, I think it's rough, it was roughly four and a half litres I left with, um, and I filled up again once, um, so I must have drunk so much yesterday, it was very humid, really hot, despite it being quite drizzly, so yeah, I did drink quite a lot of water, filled up again um, and then that did me another four and a half litres and this morning after cooking my rice and my porridge this morning and just having, I had a coffee as well last night, I'm left with one litre and a half and then a little bit left in my bladder. So what I've got to do is fill up that bladder today. It was quite comfortable last night, it's just the main problem is because it's quite bulky um, to pack away.
I have arrived at my camp spot for night two in a lovely pine forest which is covered, like the forest floor is covered in blueberries and bracken. So I have luckily found a little spot down here which is quite clear of that um, and it's just mainly moss on the ground. I have cleared a little area but it's perfect and it's really secluded in here, it's really nice. There's no deadfall around, so if the wind does pick up later, it's, uh, I'm not gonna get flattened. <laughs> it's supposed to be stormy tonight, so we'll see how that goes. It's been raining for a lot of the day, so I've just been hiking in the rain, and I put my camera away. So that's why I haven't done loads and loads of footage. I just wanted to mention quickly what I use for mosquitoes this time of year. Obviously they're quite bad. They're not too bad down south, but they have been because it's been so hot recently. But this is what I use. It seems to work really well. Um, I've used it over the years on and off. I've also used the Skin So Soft the skin moisturiser that's meant to be really good for them um, and there's like other, te other techniques I've used, other stuff but this has seemed to work really well so it says it's Ultrafon insect repellent and it's up to 12 hours of protection tropical strength, adva advanced time release technology splash and sweat resistant and it contains deep so this is what I have been using Just using the Castrom folding knife to cut up my salami to put in my rice. This is a great little knife. Love carrying it hiking. And it's just great for doing little handy things like example cutting my salami. Dinner is served. I've got my rice and salami. I literally can't believe how much the weather has cleared. It's completely blue skies. That's complete opposite from what the last two days have been. It's crazy when you're hungry, you really appreciate things. Because this tastes like a five star meal. And that's why I love hiking, because you get a real appreciation for the little things, just the simple things mean so much. I just want to thank Harold Nick, one of my Patreons and my subscribers, for these chocolates all the way from Germany. Schoper Cola, I think that's how you say it. But this is like um, coffee flavoured chocolate and if you have eight pieces of it, it's like having one cup of coffee. They have been amazing, really nice. Thank you so much for this and also some other tins of it and some other bits and bobs all the way from Germany. The sun is just setting now. It's been such a nice evening. I'm being bitten alive now. There's so many gnats and mozzies out. So hopefully that repellent works because I can feel myself getting bitten. I'm gonna sign off for tonight and I'll see you all tomorrow. Morning everyone. I woke up 
at half six. I'm just getting all my gear ready. It's not raining this morning. It's actually sunny out, which is always nice. I think it did rain in the night, but yet again, I didn't hear anything. What I'm going to do is pack away my stuff quickly and get my porridge and then um, start hiking again. These are probably one of the best socks that I've owned. They're Kathmandu and they were kindly given to me by Alan, one of my patrons all the way from New Zealand. And the first time I've used these, I've used them over the three days and they've been amazing. They feel so nice on and they don't smell and they feel really nice and they, yeah, they, they're really breathable. So I really like these socks. It has been one hour on the dot actually since I last spoke to you and said I'm oh, hoping to pack up and be walking in an hour. So that was good timing. Just got a quick break from the rain. It absolutely hammered it down earlier. It's pretty mental. Um, so quickly chucked on the waterproof cover on my Osprey. And then it was too hot to put this on for a while. And then it just got heavier, so I decided to put this on. But it's weird weather. It's really hot, but um, really heavy rain. So it's hard to know what clothing to have on. Uh, I'd left on my normal trousers, but just put my raincoat on. I'll probably end up taking this jacket off, walking 50 metres down the trail and having to put it back on again. But behind me you can see there's a huge field that goes on for miles of just sweet corn. There's loads. So these must be really self-sufficient farms around here. But just the whole way along I've been picking blackberries. They've been really nice. Um, there's just so many out now. But I think I've hiked about five miles so far, something like that. I'm not too sure how many miles to the final destination, but that's what I've got so far. But I can't believe it's my last day. It's gone so quickly. I've learnt so much and really enjoyed myself though. Definitely be doing something similar to this again. This is five miles from when I last videoed. Just stopped for a little break. What I'm going to do in a minute is fill up my water. There's a tap down that way and um, 
yeah, an outside tap, so I'm going to fill up there. And then there isn't too far from my final destination. Not too far, still a bit of a trek, but not loads. And it hasn't actually rained since I last filmed, which is a result. It stayed dry, it stayed sunny, but um, I think the next shower is due. The clouds are caving in a little bit. I've finally come to the end of my hike. It's been absolutely amazing. I've enjoyed every minute of it. So today recorded in at 13 and a half miles, which I'm pretty happy with. So thank you so much to all my subscribers. I can't believe I've hit 80k now over the moon. It's super crazy. I never thought that I'd get this far to 80k. So thank you so much. I also want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons for supporting me and supporting my videos. Otherwise these videos wouldn't be possible. And thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Take care.